Hey folks, I've been obsessing on this Cypress test startup time, where it goes your tests are starting. And previously I shared the video on how to set up your Cypress configuration for scale. So assume that you've done all that, everything is as optimized as it could be. And at work, um, it saved us about five to 10 seconds before our test can start, so which is huge savings, but I'm still not satisfied. So I think it could be better. We started talking with Lachlan. We met with him and a few other people from Cyprus. He did some experimentation, right? And the suggestion is to use ES build preprocessor. That is a plugin by Gleb. You don't see it used so widespread, but I mean, look at the average time to bundle spec. It's five times more than five times faster, right? That's what Lachlan is saying. So, of course, I have to try this. Let's see. So right now, there is no optimization, and this is a mid-sized repository. So, but you see one, two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, about like three, four seconds. You can see that at initial launch time. So, let's switch to another one. One, two, three, four. So you, you kind of see it, right? Like you do see this. Your tests are loading three or four seconds. I mean, it's not so bad, but I've got something for you. Until you have it. You are not going to know that you have always needed this thing. So this, by the way, is five to ten seconds for us. That our project because it's big, many plugins. We don't use JSON files for fixtures. We have our internal libraries that create these objects. We're so invested in that that you know we don't want to change that. So let's switch to the branch where me and Lachlan are working on. So we already have Yarn installed. I'll show you the I'll show you the PR later. It's not that big, but just want to demo how much faster things became after the ES build preprocessor change. So it was three to four seconds maybe to start a test. And we're going to see it now how much better that is. All right, so it was three to four seconds. Let's see it now. Boom. One, I mean, it's that's one second. So that's, I mean, he was showing about five times faster. That's easily true. This isn't even one second. So you can definitely see this difference here. I haven't tried this at work yet, but I'm so eager to do it. So let's compare a few CIs. Like how does, I mean, you can obviously see the difference. Like it's four to five times faster to start any test and huge improvement. Let's just look at CI. I do have Cypress dashboard. I'm able to compare a few things. So let me see if, uh, let's just look at this CI for now. Um, let's see. I do have a screenshot that I took before from a run on main. So let's take a look at, yeah, maybe this one. Look at the specs. All right, so here we have that. And here is a screenshot from main. Okay, so immediately you can see, right? The the gap between the, the green parts are the test. And Cypress dashboard puts the uh, fastest test to the left. And we, I, we might have gotten a nicer run here because it looks like uh, things have started sooner, but, but maybe that's a thing. So I'm going to investigate why these machines are taking a little longer to start up, but we can most definitely see the time between each spec is shorter, right? In the bottom part, we have the ES build optimization. So once things start, they come back to a bag a lot faster. And um, I'm going to see why they are a little slower to begin. So maybe this is a CI thing. I mean, that you can't control, right? It's so random with the CI. The only real fact you can focus on is 
like what is the gap between each test and that is huge i mean that looks to me like at least half the size more or less because that's consistent between specs almost almost but uh, this is a huge improvement and huge improvement for the local developer experience huge improvement possibly for the ci we have to look at this part let's look at the PR real quick I put this on the Tour of Heroes React Cypress example. So let's look at these PRs. It was so good, I had to. Did I merge this yet? No, I didn't merge this yet. But it's going to be soon. So it's not that many changes. And in the config file, this is basically Glebs instructions from the plugin. So I just require it. And then add this line on file, preprocessor, create manga. And this is a TypeScript project, by the way, it has all sorts of bells and whistles, what up. And yeah, these are kind of things I'm trying to make better here and there. They don't matter. This one doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ah, two lines. It's just install. Uh, this is some reorganization. So basically, the ES build preprocessor and ES build. The only thing you gotta watch out for is an open issue with the Cypress ES Build P processor. It doesn't work with ES Build 17, and uh, so you want to do the latest 16. It, I mean, there is an issue that's open. Let's look at this one. And yeah, it should be merged any day. It should be merged any day. So. After that's there, then you can use yes, build version 17 or the latest, whatever it is. Of course, this will be updated. But besides the installation, guys, it's just two lines. And I think this says this needs to be a norm everywhere. It's like four to five times faster to start tests. And you see a huge improvement. I can't wait to try it at work because right now we wait about 10 seconds per test and that's after everything's optimized. So there you have it. I kind of wish for this to be the default standard. Uh, by the way, this is only for end-to-end -end tests at the moment. And me and Lachlan are looking into how to make this work with create React app or Webpack. It's possibly easier with Vite, uh, but you know, we need it for Webpack and create React app at work. So, and but by the way, the component test, it's not, I mean, it, the, you only will get the benefit on initial launch, which is still good uh, because after the initial bundle, switching between component tests is uh, instant. And especially if you have the, uh, what is this guy called? The experimental single tab run mode on in CI, all component tests will come back to back. So basically, if we are looking at this one, so you'll see this initial weight. It's kind of there's a gap between the first component test and the subsequent ones. By the way, I think I just need two machines here. See, after the first gap, everything is much shorter. So that is, I think, experimental single tab mode. But you know, it wouldn't be nicer if that was shorter too. I think it would. So there you have it. Start using it. It's amazing. And uh, my wish is one day that's. ES build is default for all of Cypress. Enjoy.